Your Excellency, thank you very much for the practical content and the concrete commitments that you've made and outlined in the area of capacity building, in the area of support for our UN Security Council, SITBID. Well, I'm very pleased. Uh, the testimony of the signing of the roadmap for political cooperation that we've just completed is a testimony of the nature, the quality, and the content of our very strong and longstanding bilateral relations. Your Excellency, what we're doing here is really just to, to take forward what our two heads of state want us to do, to bring two parts of Africa together as one, the kingdom of Morocco and the beautiful country of Sierra Leone. Uh, Your Excellency, the roadmap is very clear, but to be able to translate the contents of the roadmap, I'm very pleased that tomorrow we'll be officially opening the Sierra Leone Embassy in the Kingdom of Morocco. Uh, that in itself is a testament of our commitment that we are here for the long haul and we believe in this African solidarity and Pan-African brotherhood and sisterhood. Your Excellency, we also look to the opening of the Embassy of the Kingdom of Morocco in Freetown. And I'm very pleased with all the assurances that you've given. Uh, because when we do that, then together we have our first point of call in our respective countries for collaboration and coordination. Your Excellency, one thing I'm very certain about is that Sierra Leone is a land of tremendous opportunities. Opportunities for trade and investment in the agriculture sector, in the mining sector, in the fishery sector, in the tourism sector, in the energy sector, and of course, in the infrastructure sector. And there's so much that we can learn from the Kingdom of Morocco. I was very pleased, Your Excellency, when you said 15 years ago, the number one aspect of the GDP was agriculture, and then second tourism. But today is automobile and aeronautics. Phenomenal transformation. Sierra Leone as a small emerging country, we have no small dreams. So we want to learn from the King of Morocco how you have made that transformation. And that is why uh, His Excellency, the President Dr. Julius Madabio has made it a priority to focus on investment in human capital development. As I indicated to you, even at the height of COVID-19 pandemic, we never reduce our budgetary allocation. So today, and we continue to allocate 22% of our national budget, the GDP, to education alone. So 2.6 million children out of a population of 7 million people go to school free. And in some areas where they are deprived conditions of poverty, we provide school feeding programs to increase school enrollment and retention. So trade and investment is very important component of what we want to do. Uh, but to be able to do that, the political component is also very important. So that is why we support uh, the Kingdom of Morocco and the Federal Republic of Nigeria's gas pipeline project. This for us is important. Again. I take a leaf from you, Your Excellency, that as you said that a couple of years ago, uh, 90s, uh, the access to electricity was 52% in the kingdom. And today, it's 91% in the kingdom. So with this uh, gas pipeline project, we have no doubt that Sierra Leone will be a beneficiary of this as part of the 15 member countries. And this demonstrates the leadership and the global standing of the Kingdom of Morocco to support energy security and access to electricity for ordinary peoples across the West African sub-region itself. Politics is never far from development. And that is why I'm very pleased, Your Excellency, about your ringing endorsements for a bid for a seat in the UN Security Council in the non-permanent category for 2024-2025, of which election will be held in June 2023. You have been part of the UN Security Council non-permanent category. We know you have a wealth of experience and expertise, 
And make no mistake, we will be knocking on your door for that expertise. So it is not just canvassing and soliciting your support, uh, but also to share with you your wealth of experience and expertise. And I did say that the Kingdom of Morocco is a global player, albeit in Africa and in other parts of the world. Your membership of OIC is key. Your membership of the Arab League is key. So we want to come to you again to leverage that global standing and leadership to support our UN Security Council bid. Because as you know, the African vote amounts only to 54 votes. We need to have two thirds, that's um, 97 votes. So we want to come back to you again to provide that additional support. And Your Excellency, be rest assured that we will support and will endorse and canvas and campaign for your seat in the UN Security Council in the non-permanent category for 2028, 2029. Because we know when you are there, you will cater for the interests of Sierra Leone. Likewise, Sierra Leone being in the UN Security Council will also cater for the political aspirations and interests of the Kingdom of Morocco. Your Excellency, given the special relationship between our two countries and peoples. We are very clear that we want to expand our diplomatic footprint across the kingdom. And it is on that light that I want to announce that we will be establishing, in addition to officially opening the embassy, the Sierra Leone embassy in the kingdom of Morocco, I have already directed uh, my ambassador to progress the opening of Consulate General in the cities of Dakla and Lyon. That for us is important because it demonstrates the strength of our partnership but also the Moroccan Sahara issue in terms of our position and our understanding the territorial sovereignty of the Kingdom of Morocco over Moroccan Sahara. We support the UN position on this in terms of the political negotiation. Only to so the main cities of the kingdom. We also want to look to establish honorary councils in the city of Casablanca, but also in the city of Marrakesh. I think that is important as well because we want to make sure that our diplomatic footprint is across the, the, the kingdom so we can leverage opportunities for, for that as well. Your Excellency, one final point I want to put on the table as part of the roadmap is that how do we bring our relationships in terms of benefits for the ordinary people of Morocco and the ordinary people of Sierra Leone? In addition to opening our embassy in the Kingdom of Morocco, but also opening your own embassy in Freytown, Sierra Leone, we are looking to visa-free travel for holders of Sierra Leone passports, the ordinary Sierra Leone passport holders, um, because we think they are the direct beneficiaries. And as you know, Your Excellency, we already have um, visa-free travel for holders of diplomatic and service passports. But we want to bring it to the people to make it much more relevant and impactful on the ordinary lives of people. And I'm very pleased, Your Excellency, with your consideration that you will engage with your colleague ministers, um, especially internal affairs and immigration, to look to facilitating this process as well. But one small ask I would want to put on the table for your consideration, Your Excellency, is for those Sierra Unions who have been here for a period of time, say five years, and without documentation, that if you could graciously consider amnesty for them. Uh, that way, we bring our partnership in terms of the ordinary lives of the people of Sierra Leone who are resident in this country. I think this is something we can work on. But to take all of this forward, I like your idea of joint commission. And Your Excellency, let me, on behalf of the delegation, let me extend an invite to you to consider a reciprocal visit to Sierra Leone to coincide with the Joint Commission uh, framework 
say between February and March, so we have enough time to prepare. And as you've stated, we will look at the bilateral issues that we want to progress, but also the key content and parameters of the joint cooperation, joint commission. But I also hope that since you have an outstanding fleet, and I've seen some of your planes, that you can have probably one of the largest planes to take to Freetown. Don't worry, we have a very good airport to bring a delegation of trade and investment and business sector. No country has ever developed without the private sector. So we want to make sure that our, uh, that our relationship also anchors on the private sector. I thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you.